Alright, so we're heading out. Just left the hostel. He's gonna go to uh, Panama City. And I'm gonna go to... I'm going to Chitre, I think. Yeah, man. Panama, I'm coming. And we'll see what's up because... I was looking at the websites and stuff and there's like... All the hostels are booked. But we never know, so... Let's gotta go check it out. So the way out of this town is the same way we came in. We're just gonna take the school bus back to David. And then from David you can take the bus to Panama City. Or you can just take the bus to Santiago. Yeah. Alright guys, so we're in Santiago and Santiago looks like a really small town. And from here I have to transfer to Chitre. Uh, Chitre is, I think, it's a bigger town than this. But of course you have your McDonald's and we saw two KFCs coming in and a Pizza Hut. So yeah. Right now I'm walking to the other station which is pretty far. So one of the things about traveling you guys is that you ask for directions all the time they go like, oh yeah take a taxi. You're like, why do I have to take a taxi? Because a lot of the things are really close. But when they see you're a foreigner, they're just like, oh no, take a taxi. And it costs so much money, and there's no need for it. You can just walk to places. So you just told me to take a taxi to this other station, and it's really close. I'm just gonna walk it really, really close. This right here, this plaza, it could be in the US. They even have like stores from the US. It's very funny how Americanized this place looks. And then, of course, you got your Pizza Hut, KFC. So I made it to a hostel, it's called uh, Miami Mike's, it's packed here, like, it doesn't look like it, but it's about to get real packed for carnival, and he didn't have any more rooms, but I, I got lucky that a couple didn't show up. It's not that pricey, but it is more expensive than other hostels in Panama, but it's, uh, it's understandable because carnival, and this is like a block from the carnival. Okay. Uh, so we're walking on this street, this is one of the main streets, all the way at the end there's a church and that's where the whole party is, not right now but later on tonight and everyone here is drunk, so drunk man, like people have been talking to me and I'm like dude everyone is so drunk, man. they don't know what they're saying and they look alright but they've been drinking since like 12 today so everyone's drunk here. Happy birthday to you! Thanks for inviting us. I came from the US for this. Hope you all have a good time today. Oh, you too, man. We'll make it a good time, dude. Oh, bro. I don't know this song. I know this song, though. You can. No! So you can just put it there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Careful. She likes this one. Camera. Camera. So this is how Dutch people party. Okay, you're going to the hot zone. <laughs> from Holland, one guy from Israel. That's what the party came to. Oh, wait, wait. American. Alaska. Yeah. South, Southern Alaska. Yeah. Uh, this is what the hostels are all about. International.
Thunder Boy. <laughs> and the Queen right here. Wait, which one's the Queen? There's three of them. First, second, and third place. Shall we attract? Oh, my God. 